हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक टी वी ए आर वी सी टेबल एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड दैट वी विल राइट द लॉजिक इनटू दिस पर्टिकुलर यूजर एक्सिट व्हेन इन एक्स वी बी ए पी इंटरनल टेबल वी आर गेटिंग द क्वांटिटी वी विल मेक सम ऑफ द क्वांटिटी एंड कंपेयर विद द क्वांटिटी मेंटेन्ड इन T V A R V C table. Now, before writing the logic into this particular user exit, or we can say subroutine, because user exit are any base in the form of subroutines. Now, we all know user exits are modifications. It means we will add our logic to SAP logic in SAP namespace itself. But I do not have a access key. So what we will do? We will add our logic using implicit enhancement. When I covered the topic user exit in enhancement and modification playlist, yes, at that time also I showed you the demo using implicit enhancement. And same thing or same way I will show the demo here. But one most important thing, please, please. After practicing this particular topic, please remove the logic. Please undo the logic. See, we are adding our logic to SAP SAP standard transaction codes VA01, VA02. So, if you will add your logic and if you will not undo that logic after practicing that, then what will happen? Any user who is using this particular system. Will get a error if the order quantity is greater than thousand. We should not impact the learning of other users. Please, please, after practicing or after writing this logic, please undo that logic because many times now, now it is many people are asking for sharing the vendor details. So I am sharing the same system with them. Whenever they will start practicing enhancement and modification topic. They do not undo that. So it's a humble request to everyone. Please undo whenever you are adding your code to SAP code, so that your changes should not impact the learning of other people. Now we will add our logic. Now, firstly, I will create a implicit enhancement here. So how we will go? I will simply go for edit. Enhancement operation show implicit enhancement option. You all know implicit a point is at the starting or at the last. Yes, we have program subroutines function module. So now you can see we have a implicit point at the starting. We have a implicit point at the last. Now to write the logic, I will create implicit implementation. I will simply right click. Now before going for that, sorry, I need to click on to enhance mode. Yes, because we were we are enhancing logic. Yes, as I do not have access key, so I will add the logic using implicit enhancement. I will go for enhancement operation, create implementation. I will give some name to the implementation. I will go for code because we want to write the code. Now I will click on to create button. We will create our own implicit implementation. Suppose I will give Z. Check for quantity. I will write check for quantity. We'll go for OK. I'll save this as a local object. Yes. OK. Now we will write the logic into this enhancement and end enhancement. Now, firstly, we will simply write the select queries to fetch the data from T V A R B C table. 
because now everything is maintained into the TVARVC table and that is our topic itself because that is the topic which we are discussing. Now I will go to TVARVC table and we will write query. TVARVC. I will go to display. Now, if we will see this particular table, we have three primary keys, name, type, and NUMB. Suppose if I will go to contents. Now, we have two variant. If I will show you STVARV transaction code, we want the value of this particular variant we want the value of this particular variant. If we will check the table, how the data is in the table, Z quantity. Suppose firstly we'll go for Z quantity. I'm going to execute. Now you can see we want this value. We want quantity as thousand. It means we want to fetch this particular value. This value is the part is stored into which particular column low. It means from TVARVC table, we will select which particular column value low. Now, what will be the where condition? Suppose this is important part and because of this, so many mistakes happen. Suppose in the where condition, I'm only passing this name Z quantity. Okay. Now, at this point of time, people will think, yes, if we will pass Z quantity, we will get a unique value because Z quantity is unique. Yes, variant name is unique. Just see, this variant is a part of parameter section. Suppose I'm going to selection option section and I'm going to change. Suppose I'm creating Z quantity here. Suppose I'm giving some, suppose I'm going for this multiple selection button. Suppose I'm giving the value 1000 and 2000. I'm creating one more variant with the same name, but it is a part of select options. I'm going to execute. Now, if I will go for save, system is accepting. It means if I will go for refreshing of the table, you can see we have these three values of set quantity. Yes, this parameter type is P. This parameter type is S. That's why it is accepting the duplicate records of Z quantity. Z quantity P, unique. Z quantity S, then we have 0, 0, 0. This is unique combination. This is unique combination. It means if you will pass only Z quantity in the where condition, if tomorrow someone add Z quantity into the selection option part, you might, you will get a wrong result in the query. Yes, it means we need to pass this. We need to pass this. Whenever we'll pass these two things, yes, we will get a unique combination because in the parameters tab, I cannot go for Z quantity again. Suppose if I will put Z quantity again here, system will not accept. So in the parameters tab, Z quantity is one time, but same name I can give in select option tab. So if rather than only passing the variant name, you should pass the type also. If you are going for number, it is a bit is the best option because you are passing all the three primary keys. Yes, because anyways, we have a parameter. So single value. So SAP is giving the number 0, 0, 0, 0. So if you are not passing this still, by passing these two, we will get a unique record. This is the mistake which many people will do. They think, okay, name is unique, variant name is unique. So they will pass only unique variant name in the where condition. In the future, someone add the same variant in the selection option tab, then in that case, this query will give the wrong result. So we'll pass these two in the where condition. We can go for all three also, no problem. 
I'll just, but do not only go for variant name. I'll just delete that. So that only Z quantity once. If I will refresh, okay. Now we will write a query. Suppose I will write select single. Yes, because we want this single value. Yes, select single low into. Suppose I am writing LV underscore quantity where sorry from which particular table T V A R V C where where name variant name is equal to Z quantity and please pass that type if you will not pass the type, it might be the case there we have Z quantity S. So in that case, Z quantity that will come, next will come, next will come. Yes, sir. Anyway, single will give us first single record. Now, and N U M B. It is optional in this case because we have only single value, single record, whenever we are going for parameter, yes. Now I will declare this LV underscore quantity. Type. I'll just check the type of low. Low is of this type. I'll copy. So our first query done. I'll just put dot. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Just now I told you, yes, whenever you will practice, please undo the, your logic because you are adding your logic to your, uh, because you are adding your logic to SAP code. Still, if you think, yes, you forgot many times, you, you, you forgot to undo the code, what is best practice at that point of time? You know your user ID is always unique. Suppose my ID is R Mehta. So no one else will use my ID into this particular system. So what I will do? Whenever you are practicing your code, whenever you are writing your code to SAP code, do one thing. Before writing the code, just add your user ID. You all know Sai you name always, always give the system variable. It's a system variable for username. Now, in that case, what will happen? Whenever any other user is creating sales order through VA01, V or changing sales order through VA02, the control will come here. This if condition will fail at that point of time and the logic will not execute. So for the safer side, if you think after practice, many times you forgot to undo that code. So whenever you are starting with your code, just put a if condition by your user ID. So it means that code will only only hamper you. That code will only execute because of you are on, only execute in your user ID. It will not hamper other people. Now, now I will simply go for other. Now we want the list of users. Z well underscore users. I will go to X. Now we want this entry also. We want this entry also. It means we have multiple records. We cannot go for single. We will take into a internal table. Now the question comes here. Yes, but we will pass here. Do not pass all three. Suppose if you will pass this, if you will pass this, if you will pass this, this combination of three will give you unique record. But we want all the records. We want this also. We want this also. So please pass name and type. Whenever you will give this to, system will take this also. System will take this also. Yes. So now we will declare a internal table. I will go for types. 
begin of LTY underscore users. Suppose I'm writing low type. See, because we want this value, this value. So I will go for low, low type. This is the type of low. End of LTY underscore users. I will declare internal table and work area. I will declare work area. Now I will fetch the data. This time we are not going for single record. We are going for multiple records. So I will write select. We want to select which particular column low into. What is the name of internal table? LT underscore users. From which table? T V A R V C where name is equal to Z weld underscore users and type is equal to S. Please give that type because it might be the case the same name is given as a part of parameter tab. So in that case, you will get that value also. Whenever you will pass these two, yes, it will give a unique thing. Yes. Now, I will simply, simply check the syntax up to this level. Okay, into table, sorry. Now I will activate up to this level. Now you can see I'm writing the code at this point of time. Also, someone else can create a sales order or change a sales order. But whenever this code will execute, it will execute only for my ID because I put a rare condition. So others will not impact because of my code. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I started writing the code into this particular subroutine or we can say user exit. Yes, user exit is a modification. We will write the code in SAP namespace, but we do not have access key. So I will write the code using implicit enhancement. So you can simply show the implicit enhancement option, you will be able to see implicit point, create a implicit implementation and start writing the code. Firstly, we are fetching data from TVARVC table for the quantity, for the variant Z quantity. Then I showed you also, please push, put the type as P because same variant name can be in the selection option tab also. And it is good if you will pass all the three. Then I showed you also because we want to now fetch the users. Whenever we will fetch the users, do not pass all three primary keys. If you will pass all three primary keys, you will get a single record. You will get this record. You will not get this record. So pass these two. Now into this internal table, we have the list of users. Now the most, most important part, which I'm always, always pressurizing, please, please undo your code. Anyways, this is going on. So there's no point of undo at this point of time. Always go for a rare condition based upon your user ID. Whenever you are writing your code to SAP code so that others should not impact because of your code. Now in the next video, we will make some of the order quantity. We will compare with this quantity and then we will check the list of users. That part will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.